In this Yahoo Pipes demo, I'm going to show you how to take a CSV file with a list of keywords and use Yahoo Pipes to loop through each one of those keywords and perform searches on it. So you can see my CSV file is pretty simple. It's a list of keywords, one per line. Go back to Yahoo Pipes and start by fetching the CSV file associated with the URL for the CSV file, which I've pasted in there. I didn't give them column names in the CSV file, so we'll just add those here. We'll call them keywords. Then the first thing we need to do with this information is we need to loop through each of the elements in the CSV file and build the URL that's going to be the search string for the individual service. So in this case, we're going to do a search on Twitter. And just make sure that the search string that you type in here, the search base, is the base for the RSS feed. So in this case, it's search.atom. That could be a part of the query parameters depending on the individual service. So the query parameter in this case is Q equals keywords. So we'll assign those results into the item loop URL builder. Then we're going to run that through another loop where we will actually fetch the results associated with each one of those URLs that we just built. So we'll go back here to the sources, we'll fetch the feed associated with each one of those URLs, we'll emit the results. Then the final thing we're going to do is just sort the results so that the new items are at the top. So in this case, we'll just do a quick sort by any one of the date fields. I'm going to use uTime just because I like that one. So we use uTime in descending order so that we have the new stuff at the top, of course. Connect it to the pipe output. We'll save it. And then when we run this pipe, we should see a list of search results from each one of those keywords run through Twitter.